Hi everyone, my name is Miss Maria. I'm the Bilingual Children's Librarian at the Pawtucket Public Library, here to share with you another great sensory, sensory activity to do at home. Today we will be making a sensory fallen leaves bag. Now what is a sensory bag? A sensory bag allows children to explore, discover, and learn while stimulating their five senses. It also keeps a child calm and focus and it helps them keep engaged. All right, now let's talk about how we're gonna make this sensory fallen leaf bag. The first thing that you're gonna need is a Ziploc bag and on it, as you can see, I draw an autumn tree with no leaves on it. We're gonna need hair gel. It could be clear hair gel. I just happened to find this one that is yellow. Um, some of these maple leaves out of felt. Um, some sequin. We can also add some glitter. I found some orange and red autumn colors. Some confetti leaves and food coloring. And at the end, we'll seal the bag with some tape. All right, let's get started. The first thing we want to do is put some hair gel inside the bag. Open the bag. Fill it up. I would say um, about the, a good amount, like maybe uh, four or five um, spoons of the hair gel. Not too, too much. We don't want to overflow the bag with way too much hair gel. And then we're going to squeeze the bag and just spread it out a little bit, as you can see. Nice. Then we're going to add the small things, like the sequins. I'm going to throw that in there. I put some orange one, again, to match with the autumn colors. So I'm going to throw that in there. I can pick it up. Let's see here. It's getting stuck to my hand. So we'll throw that in there. And you can spread it with the hair gel. All right. Next, we're going to put some glitter. Let's put a little bit of glitter to give it color and make it more fun. Look at that. And you'll measure it as you're adding into the bag. You don't want to put too much or too little. Um, so again, maybe just like a spoon of glitter, or you can just pour it in like I did and um, just spread it as you go along. All right, that was a little bit of the orange. Now we're going to add a little bit of the red. Alright, and I'm going to spread it, spread it with the hair gel. And again, as you're adding these into the bag, you'll know whether to add a little bit more of hair gel, or a little bit more of glitter, or any of the other materials. So, so far this is what it looks like. Alright, so now that we've added the glitter and the sequin, we can add the autumn leaves in there as well. So basically what we're doing is we're just adding all these materials inside the bag and spreading them out. I think I'm going to need a little bit more hair gel to make it more easy to spread these things throughout the bag. It smells really good too. All right. And now that we did that, we can add our maple leaves. Open up the bag. And add some leaves. And what we're gonna do with these leaves is that we're gonna spread them out throughout the bag and put them in the tree branches. So 
the kids can play with the bag and just push the glitter and the sequin and the leaves in the bag as as a way of um, a way of they could, them to play. Okay. So now. now it's starting to look like an autumn tree and again you have to work your work in here to push 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 a lot of pushing and spreading a lot of pushing and spreading and like i said as you go along you'll realize that you do a little bit more gel or other things all right now the last thing that we need in here is a little bit of food coloring. And the food coloring is just gonna make it look more like autumn. So I chose um, yellow. So I'm gonna put a little few dots of yellow. Three, four. And now that we are all done spreading, adding all the materials, into the bag you can seal it up okay seal it up and you can continue to spread the leaves spread it up a little bit more there you go leaf and when we're done what we want to do is we want to tape it um, because the kids will be um, squishing this a lot so it doesn't pop out and to make sure that it's nicely and sealed up we put tape on both sides and that'll help seal the bag and keep it from gushing out And you'll have yourself a fall leaf, leaf sensory bag. Look at that. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. There you go. And now we can see the colors and the leaves. There are some leaves on the tree. Some leaves on the tree. Some of them are already falling down. We have some glitter, some food coloring. And there you go. That is your sensory fallen leaf bag. Very simple to make. Um, you can make it in no time. Um, here at the library, we're going to have some sensory kits with all the materials that I use today to make this sensory bag. Um, you're more than welcome to stop by the library and pick up the materials and watch this video so you can learn how to make your own century ball and leaf bags. Well, this is all that I have for you today. I hope you like it and I hope you come visit us soon. Thank you everybody. Bye-bye.